So how are you guys doing? God, it's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah, it's good. 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 Uh -huh. um, Still in the throes of work. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We're on the tail tail end of post production right now. Um, uh huh. It's with the sound editor, so we'll probably have another month, month and a half, I think, realistically. Uh huh. Before we have a finished product. Uh huh. Very cool. Very cool. Well, listen. Let's start with development. Um, firstly. A lot, of, a lot of people, I just thought this would be interesting because a lot of people, I was saying earlier, that a lot of people will walk into a movie theater and just start watching a movie and kind of like, oh, it just fell out of the sky this way. <laughs> it takes so much to get it from an idea in your mind to actually being lit up across the screen, across the white screen. So firstly, I would say it's, it's a long process, it's a difficult process. But it's often rewarding, of course. So what would be the best <laughs> advice that you could offer someone um, uh, before embarking on something like this? Uh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> be, very, be very patient. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I, think, I think preparation is key, and I think it's, it's important to realize how long something like this is going to take. Uh -huh. uh, you know, initially, Josh and I sat down about a year and a half ago, getting this whole process rolling. And, I, I don't think I even began to imagine the fact that it would take us a year to make it happen and then there was going to be another year until we actually saw some real results and some, some money right. from this whole situation. Uh -huh. um, but I think part of the reason that we were able to do it and we were able to do it at the budget we were is that it, the, the level of pre-production like pre that we put into it, uh -huh. we were spending as much time as possible making sure we had every spreadsheet you could possibly imagine and every sort of possibility was accounted for. I think that uh -huh. was probably one of our, our greatest strengths as a team um, was also combining what each one of us does well and trying to uh -huh. bring it out of the table. Uh huh. There you go. Something like this. Excellent. So, getting a good team together would be your best advice. Yeah, and, and not necessarily your best of friends. You know, you want to get right. people that are going to butt heads occasionally and say, no, 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 this is the better way sure. to do it so that you can continue to build on that. Mm -hmm. Because I've worked with so many productions, especially on an amateur level, where it is, it's a group of friends. And so it's nothing but yes men. And everybody's just, oh, well, that's yeah, a great idea, da, da, da. Yeah. So no, what we don't like each other at all. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> we actually hate each other. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're so well together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but there is, I mean, there is a truth to that. You know, we, we, don't, we don't hate each other, but, you know, we don't, we don't love each other like you know college roommates, and yeah, so it's right. not that thing of like everything you do is magic. Yeah, right. I think that's how, that's ended up why we kind of we found a little magic. We were able to create uh -huh. a little bit. You know? Yeah, and you also it sounds like you also respect each other's knowledge on what positions you hold. You know, yeah. absolutely. I mean, there's mm -hmm. plenty of times where uh, just we were dealing with the passing off to the sound editor. You know, Ryan went back to me with an issue about whether or not it was ready and whether or not we should be working on the sound as is. And I'm like, Brian, I have no idea. I, have no, I, have no, I don't know anything about sound, so you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, you know, for, for years as a filmmaker, it's always been people just tell you, well, if you want to make movies, just do it. Just make the movie, just do it, just do it, just do it. And that's really, really true up to an extent. Right. And I think it, it's true up to the point where you're dealing with other people's money. And it's like, well, well, now you're making a movie with other people's money, so you shouldn't just rush in and do it. You really uh -huh. should learn what to do first and then do it. Yeah, that's with true. film, once you do it, it's too late. You don't get a yeah. second chance. And it, it, exactly, you have to take a moment, stop yourself and say, what exactly are we all here and what are we doing? And we really, we did that over the course of uh, a year and a half. I mean, we did a short uh, webisodic, uh, mm -hmm. uh, webisode type pilot thing. Then we did just a series of little short video contests from 30 seconds to, to a minute long. Mm -hmm. It's like four or five in a row just producing them just to kind of, you know, work together and get the juices flowing. And then finally, after all that time, we were mm -hmm. able to scratch the money together and get the script ready and uh -huh. ready to shoot. But it, yeah. it certainly was a long, long preparation process. But uh -huh. there certainly was an element of just do it. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. there, were, there were so yeah. many stumbling blocks that we hit along the way. You know, oh, losing sure. locations and, 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 you know, people quitting and et cetera, uh -huh. et cetera. But it just didn't matter. Like it did not matter. We were uh -huh. going to shoot a feature film, Excellent. and it didn't matter what the budget was, and it didn't matter how it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Josh and I made a clear decision that we were going to shoot a feature film, mm -hmm. and you know, thankfully, a few things did happen that set us off in different directions that we never would have expected. Like we ended up having to postpone principal photography by two weeks. But had we not done that, we would have been caught in one of the worst storms that. New right. York had in years, uh -huh. you know, and there yeah. were all sorts of little things like that where you're just like, boy, the film gods are really <laughs> yeah, right. smiling upon us. <laughs> but because of that, it was like that same thing. It was like, well, they're smiling, so keep working, keep going, yeah. keep going. Yeah, and I exactly. think that, that sort of that, 
that blind mentality of like we're going to shoot a fucking film and I don't care. Yes, right. That got us to do it. You get you in know? the zone. Because if it, had we waited for it to be perfect and to found the right actor to play John, yeah, yeah, yeah right. And da, 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 da. You know, it was just like, well, Josh wrote the script and Josh is going to be the cheapest actor. So I'm not going to pay him a dime. So yeah. there we go. We've got our <laughs> you know? um, We could have searched forever. We don't have to feed him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no feeding. No housing. No transportation. <laughs> Can he speak English? He's cast. <laughs>